Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can customize your KDE desktop. So for the first step, let us go and get some themes. So open the settings app, head over to appearance and from global themes get some global theme. That is auto, just search for auto. This is the one we need, click on install and it will start downloading. Okay, so it is installed. Now just close this, click here and apply and it will apply the theme so uh, you also need to get the wallpaper due to some reason the wallpaper not was not applied so uh, let's just uh, go to configure desktop and wallpaper this is the auto wallpaper click on apply done so basically now it is using the default auto theming but we are not going to stick to this we're going to use something really different and uh, unique one First of all, let's change the icons because they are uh, very much similar to the Mac icons. So head over to appearance, go to icons and we are going to use the papyrus icons in this place. So search for papyrus. Here we have the papyrus icons. So choose the correct option for the folders. So we are going to choose the yellow folders version. Here we have yellow, install. Since everything is a bit bluish, Yellow is a complementary color of blue, so it will be more bright when it's placed on blue. Okay. While it is installing or downloading, let us get a package that we are going to use. So basically, we are going to enable tiling system in KDE. So if you uh, just click here. Okay, I guess we can't work now. Anyway, just search for KDE Bismuth. github and you will find the home page appearing here just head down and you will get the package name that you need to install that is kvin bismuth this one so just copy the code open console paste it enter and the installation will be done now it does a few changes in the system, basically enabling uh, tiling systems for KDE. So now if you click here on Papyrus Dark, just apply the icons, the icons will change. So let us see how the yellow icons look over here. Looks good, but I guess we can also use the uh, a different one. Let's open the this one and search for Auto Kevantum. So this is the Kevantum theme. Click on download and download the tarball. Sol. Now let's install Qt5 style. Kevantum. Now settings app is not opening due to some reason. If this problem happens with you, you can do one thing very simple. Just click here and just open this. Log out and log back in. That should solve the problem. So I'm just logging out now. Yeah. As you can see, settings has opened here. So go to appearance and head over to icons. Get new icons. So we have a lot of colors to choose from. Mm. Let's choose cyan. That's it, done, click on use. Okay, this looks better. Great. So let's open the file manager and check how it looks. Looks nice. Now some of the things that we need to edit over here is, uh, okay, first let's do the installation of uh, the Kevantum theme. So 
just open the downloads folder here we have the tarball just extract the tarball here that's it done now we need to open Kevantum. Search for Kevantum. Select Kevantum folder. Inside downloads, <coughs> you already have auto. Select it and install. Now change or delete theme from here. Scroll down and you can select auto. Use this theme. That will apply auto. As you can see, there is a certain amount of blur that is in the background. But uh, let us do some more configuration to increase the amount of blur. Uh, you can reduce the opacity further if you want but I don't recommend that or increase the saturation and do other changes but uh, I guess we can reduce a little bit like up to 40% save that is like this but uh, don't worry about the middle part you will understand why I am telling in a minute so let's reopen dolphin and see how things have changed over here It has not changed because from the settings we have forgot uh, to apply the application style here we have the application style kevantum dark apply now reopen dolphin and you will see the changes appearing there there you go looks great now for just a little bit more understanding of the blur let's increase the saturation okay not that much a little bit and also a little bit of intensity let's see by opening dolphin okay looks better again hop into settings go to appearance and uh, not in appearance but in window management you will see an option for window tiling just enable window tiling and click on apply looks good now we need to set some uh, more changes in appearance for the left let's put the amount to be 30 and just copy this and paste it for the rest of the parts 4 inner gaps will choose 20 pixels apply looks good but the inner gaps is not visible now it is visible so let's increase the gap by uh, set it to 25 apply okay okay now it looks good now from behavior You can make some changes over here. So from appearance, no borders around tiled windows. This will change and remove all the borders that are appearing there, making it look more like tiling. Now you can snap them out of, of uh, out of tiling windows. For example, in this case, the settings page can be done like that. So let's get out of this or you can also do this with some other application but have it's not possible there due to some reason okay nice now let's try to snap out file manager from here see it's not possible but you can change that behavior over here inside window management go to window tiling customize layout and enable floating layout also just click on apply and when you snap it out it will now form a floating window let's remove floating layout and click on apply you see back into the tiled windows now we need to make some more adjustment to fine tune it. So let's open, uh, let's close the uh, this one, the settings window. Nice. Now for making some changes here, we are going to right click. Okay, right click here and unlock panels. Again, right click, 
deselect main toolbar. Now another change we need to make here is that for the icons that are being shown. Okay, let's lock it. Sorry. Lock panels. Icon size needs to be changed. Increase it a little bit to large. Don't make it huge. It won't look better with huge. But I guess large is the correct size for this. Looks nice. Now let's do some edits with the terminal. So open console. Right in place. Now head over to settings and manage profiles. Here we have the built-in profile and all. Just click on new, go to appearance and search for auto. If auto is not here, get new. That should pop up this window in the background. Okay. move it and search for auto for using the same color scheme that is there let's click on install It'll take just a second to install that's it done and you will find auto over here get rid of this there we go apply now click on edit and increase the level of transparency up to some extent that should look good done now to achieve the same level of transparency, you need to do some more tweaking. So just right click, edit current prof profile, appearance and edit, increase the transparency further. Okay. Okay. So looks more or less the same now. Right click here and unlock the toolbars uh, for moving them to a different side. For example, you can move it to the side like this. So it gives a different look for that so you can open new tabs over here which will appear at the bottom part that can also be done but we are trying to get rid of that so let's do something main toolbar let's disable it and session toolbar also needs to be disabled Also remove the menu bar so this is our minimal version of the terminal so let's install neofetch to show you how it looks that's it complete now clear okay. clear oops and neofetch so this is how it will look but i guess we can map that color to a different one for example, in appearance, we go to edit and we can map that dull color that is appearing there to something like works up to some extent but i guess more tweaking will bring up more uh, better colors control plus will increase the size and control minus will decrease the size of the text if you need to do that and that's all for this part now uh, let's close the side window and let us install latte doc enter edit mode here and we are going to place this panel at the top we are going to decrease the panel height up to some extent and until and unless it looks good also we are going to get rid of this and the okay let's not get rid of that now get rid of this the icon only task manager and also the pager i guess we need to add a spacer just right after this that looks good and 
let's add new widgets that is the application menu or the global menu so here we have the global menu great and finally looks a little bit cleaner we are going to make some more edits such as this one becoming a floating panel translucent center that's all for now we can now safely show the menu bar also so just click here open console and see the menu bar becomes visible over there but uh, switch to profile one and we need to uh, set, set that profile as default which I forgot to do there default profile apply okay so let's try it again just open console and there you go uses the default profile here also if we open dolphin I guess yes looks a lot cleaner okay finally let's open latte doc small dock should appear at the bottom part right click here to edit the dock so basically we are going to put it at the left side and we're going to decrease the size Now let us add a bunch of apps over here. So let's open console, let's add it over here. So right click, pin launcher. And also we need to make some more changes. Just click on, con no, not configure. Let's right click here. Edit dock and let us completely Disable zooming looks good. Behavior auto hide done. Finally, let us get rid of icons. looks a lot cleaner we also need to add a new widget so let's add widget basically the application launcher Also, we can go to configuration and change certain things over here. Uh, 
I guess the application menu looks more uh, compact than that. So, let's... cool. The desktop looks very empty, so we can add a new widget over here. Just search for a clock. That will go with the desktop. We have the clear clock, we have a modern clock. See how the modern clock will look. Okay, the modern clock looks good. Let's go for that. Right click. Add widget, modern clock, drag and lock, drop it over here. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.